Greetings, Dave Dickinson here from AstroGuys.com, and I thought, with one week left to the total solar eclipse crossing over the U.S., that I would make a short video by popular demand on how to make a safe solar filter for a pair of binoculars so you can view the sun during a partial eclipse. We're going to be using simply one pair of safe glasses. Make sure that you have the correct ISO rated glasses and that these are, if you look at the American Astronomical Society, they have the rated uh, safe approval glasses. These are the ISO 12312 glasses uh, as per required. And cardboard box. I like the pizza box because you have the very thin layer cardboard. And binoculars, of course. Super glue, or glue, Gorilla Glue. Pair of scissors and rubber bands and we'll have more on this in the show notes and we'll have more on this on astroguys.com as far as safety approved classes and the process of how to make them but i wanted to show you just a quick video of how to put these together it takes about 30 minutes to assemble this again this is totally safe this is going to fit over the front of the binoculars your binoculars may be different than these but you can make these to fit to any type of binoculars you're going to be cutting out simple masks that have uh, a layer of cardboard, the glasses, and another layer of cardboard back and fixed onto the front of the binoculars. And you're going to be using these to look at the sun during the partial phases of the eclipse. Naturally, during totality, you don't need any kind of protection. You can look at uh, totally eclipsed sun of the naked eye. You need something that's protected. This is kind of a neat little setup. And again, it only takes 30 minutes to make, and I'll show you how to do it. We're back 10 minutes later, and here are the raw components cut out. What you're going to need is two masks, and what's going to end up happening is you're going to have one glued on either side of the glasses. You'll cut the arm off the glasses, so yes, you'll sacrifice one pair of safe solar eclipse viewing glasses to make a binocular filter, but if you've got a few, which I've got about half a dozen, it's worth sacrificing one. I don't want to sacrifice the second pair, so I'm not cutting off the stems off this one. You're going to cut out two little Batman and Robin Lone Ranger tied of masks. They don't have to be really precision cut. Square cut is fine. The key thing on the outside one is you want these wings so you can fold them back over the binoculars when the binoculars are mounted in here. So it's going to go back like this and then wrap around. You want to make sure they're cut wider than the aperture of the binoculars so that you can actually block off there you don't want any stray light or anything coming in through these the hardest part is probably getting both cutouts in the glasses matched up what you're going to have to do is measure them and then with your knife and your scissors you're going to have to what i like to do is take the knife and cut one over the other so it lays the indent for the bottom ones so you can cut them out so they match up right for the particular pair of binoculars you're using. You're probably not going to be using a pair of binoculars like these. These are image stabilized cannons. These have the advantage of not having the diopter spacing. Uh, the whole thing doesn't move, it only moves in here, but you could probably make one that would fit if you have to change the diopters or even you could make one to fit each individual mask. I like the full frontal mask a lot better. So 30 minutes cardboard glue, and I'll show you what our finished product looks like. All right, we're back with our finished product here. And they are fixed into the front of the binoculars. Incidentally, one thing of safety you want to do, you always want to check these and make sure there's no light leakage before you put them on the binoculars and actually aim them at the sun. Just take them, hold them up, Look and see if you see any little pinholes or scratches or anything where light's coming through, throw them away. Don't put them on your binoculars. Make sure you visually check them first. Also, another safety feature we have here, I have two rubber bands holding them on. Pretty heavy strength, like the kind you know you find wrapped around broccoli in the grocery store. Those the, You want the thick, thick rubber bands. I have two of them on there. If one of them snaps off the binocular, the filter is not going to fall off while you're because you've got a double safety. Give it a good shake. It's not going to come off there and that is the rig and it's really that simple 
to uh, make something that's safe and easy to observe the sun with. We'll put up some images we've shot through this type of filter. You also could make something like this for a small telescope. The trick is, again, you want it snug on the front of the aperture. You don't want the old IP screw-on type uh, filters. Those can heat up and crack and you'd throw those away. You don't want wind or any curious hands to be able to pry them off. But this will make a good way to look at the sun during the partial phases while you're waiting for totality come next Monday. Myself, I will be at Perry at the, the uh, Pisgah Astronomical Research Institute Radio Telescope Observatory in North Carolina for a glorious 107 seconds of totality. So we're hoping for clear skies. And if you don't mind, now I'm going to go out and do some solar observing.